trying to hit 10K. We are 6,000. 900, 800, 700 away to hit that 10K, and I need each one of y'all hit. Jay-Z and 50 Cent are without a doubt two of the most successful businessmen to ever exist, whether we're talking about hip hop or not. But in terms of their career as actual rappers, lately a lot of people have been taking a closer look at their relationship. Both are New York moguls who changed the landscape of music forever, but they never really had an official collaboration besides one remix and never really did business together on a high level. Well, except for this. Besides one remix and... I get money remix? I ain't gonna lie, that's not really a song. Never really did business together on a high level. Well, except for this. Just play. Recordings just got better. Hey, it's Dana from StreamYard. I'm so excited to announce that. Like I said, hey, hey, hey y'all, I'm not a big Jay Z fan. I'm really not, y'all. I'd rather listen to, like, bro, his old music, the, like, the 90s, bro, I, I can listen to that Jay-Z, but this now Jay-Z, I just, I don't know, y'all, it's just something about Jay-Z, man, I just don't really rock with it, bro, I'm not a big fan. But even with that, it seemed like there was some competition. The G in the shoe, I was sold to Sean Carter's shoe, 6 to 1. I made over $80 million during the RBK time period. 50 has been a little more vocal about some of his potential issues with Hove recently in interviews. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the underlying beef between these two legends and examine what might have actually sparked it. That's why you get the friction. It says beef. That's a new terminology for battling. Kanye West and 50? That's why you get the friction. It says beef. That's a new terminology for battling. 50 Cent's entry into the game in 1999 wasn't a slow build at all. In fact, it was like a volcano erupting onto the entire industry. I mean, just look at one of his first notable songs called How to Rob, where he literally rapped about robbing all of his competition, including Jay-Z. It seemed like it was all love. The two bumped into each other backstage at Summer Jam and apparently Jay gave 50 props on the song, but he did let him know that he was about to get him back. And he did that very same night. 99. I don't think it was really a diss. I think it was just kind of like, a, um, you said something, I got to kind of say something back. But you know, Jay-Z, he did it so sly when he dissed 50. In 1999, he said a little line. Bro, I ain't, bro, I'm literally didn't know 50 and Jay-Z was beefing. So I, I'm just now, this is why I'm reacting to this. Like, bro, I didn't even know 50 and Jay-Z was beefing. Jay-Z, I ain't, bro. And he said, I'm about a dollar with the fuck is 50 cent or whatever. So nobody really knew how 50 was going to take it. And we knew he was in the building and he was backstage. But I guess they had a little, like, chat backstage. It, it wasn't that serious. I'm about dollars. Who the fuck is 50 cent? Jay even referenced the diss and 50's come up on the Blueprint 3 song, A Star Is Born. 50 actually seemed to be sort of excited that his diss got a reaction from the biggest in the world. He even credited some of his success to the reply, telling this to Rolling Stone at the time. When he responded, I was complimented. He wouldn't say nothing back to somebody he didn't think was hot. I never went to radio until after he said that about me. I don't know if my career would be where it's at if he didn't respond. And while it might have just been a freestyle to start off with, the verse was officially recorded on the song It's Hot. But 50 came right back and rapped about people being in their feelings over how to rob and even referenced Jay's infamous song Can I Live on his song Be a Gentleman. No more freestyles and verses can stick in job. I'm moving on now. I got bigger fish to cry. Just how to rob a lot of niggas been naming names. Monkey see monkey do. I done changed the game. Can I live? Look, the fire. Oh, that's gotta be Jay Z. Brainless, you said it yourself. But either way, whether this was real beef or just some light bars on records, 
Jay-Z was definitely aware of what 50's impact on the game was about to be. In a 2013 interview with The Breakfast Club, Hove said this looking back on things. Bleak beans. Everybody was in there, and I was like, "Man, I'm telling you, man, y'all better, y'all better, y'all got a chance right now. Just flood it, put out a lot of music mm-hmm. because 50 Cent is coming." Mm-hmm. Four months later, in the club hit, and it was over, and right. it was just like, "Okay, now everybody got to sit on the sidelines and wait and wait this tight wave out." Jay's longtime engineer. So basically, so basically, Jay Z was praising 50. 50 just, I, so basically, oh we. So Jay-Z even said it, that 50 is coming. Your young guru corroborated the story in a recent interview saying this. And Jay walked in the studio. He said it before, but I'm telling you how impactful it was. He walked in the studio and he was like, yo, this dude 50, y'all gonna have to deal with him in the next couple months. He said it to the whole crew. And Jay-Z and Rock Nation weren't the only ones. Listen to what Irv Gotti was thinking when him and Ja Rule first heard the song. <laughs> let's, let's listen to it. Dun, 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 I'm like, oh God, We're fucking not- Dre, right? So boom. <laughs> so then, oh, wait, no, but wait a minute, you're bringing it. I ain't gonna lie, boy, that boy Fifty is a goat, man. So you telling me Fifty was shaking the whole industry up like that? Boy. Hey, salute to him, man. Boy, 50 is the, hey, 50, hey, they were scared 50 like that? We're fucking Dre, right? <laughs> so boom. So the, then, oh, wait, no, but man. wait a minute. You're bringing it back. So I'm like, all right, the beat is fucking nuts. He may have one, but let's see if he connected the dots lyrically. He may have not have connected the dots lyrically. You can find me in the, I'm like, this is it. I turned the rule and everyone in the office and I said, yo, buckle up. We have a major problem. This guy's hot. This this record, and he's with Jimmy Iovine, Dr. Dre, and fucking Eminem. We have a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, hey, they, hey, they scared to put him, man. Boy, what? Problem. So. 50 Cent drops in the club and Get Rich or Die Trying, and we all know what happens next. Shortly after that, it looked like Jay decided to keep any potential threat close by and hit the road with 50 for what would have been an insane tour called Rock the Mic. Jay was at the top of the game, and 50 was the new kid on the block set to take over. But something may have actually happened on this tour because while the shows continued with new dates, it went on without Jay-Z. And shortly after that, Jay announced that his next album, The Black Album, would be his last. He even said that his tour would be his victory lap. So, Jay said that it was time to take a step back, basically right when 50 came in. This is what Jay-Z said his reason for retiring was. I just felt like, you know, I mean, what more can I say? Like, achieve as a solo artist, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So basically... Bro, I ain't gonna lie. This, 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 bro. Is this actually true, bro? Bro, this has made 50 career goaded, bro. So you telling me 50 came in the game, got everybody scared, bro. That's why everybody like 50 now, bro. The movies and the TV shows and, 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 and the music and... The, the 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 sports that he owned Kings. Oh man, that boy boy fifty is genius, dog. And oh oh man. What more can I say? Like a cheap So you telling me Jay Z hit the retire cause of fifty Chief, as a solo artist. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in the comfort zone as far as making the music. I can make music. Like I know I know how to structure a song, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I know how to make a B chorus during the verse, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I know all the little tricks. I know when you, people are going to sing along, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know how to put that in the song, Okay. you know what I'm saying? So when you're doing that so much, so much, it's so hard. Mm-hmm. You know, I've been doing that uh, 10 albums straight, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, as well as um, collaborations and soundtracks, mm-hmm. things like that, you get in the comfort zone. I'm a young guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I gotta, still got to challenge myself man, in life. Lying, man. I got to step outside man. my comfort zone. That's just part of being alive. 
I know J. Cole always got the socks so long to his shoes. And y'all can see Touring. Yeah. right here, his socks long. Bro. Like back to back. And, and you know, I just looked up one day and I was like, I'm tired. I'm, I had never been on a vacation to like, bro, you I want to say you scared 50, 2000, bro. like my whole life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was just really burnt out at that moment. Yeah, those reasons are all good and well, but it's very hard to ignore that all of this perfectly lines up with 50 Cent's rise to fame in New York and right. taking over the rap game. This is getting a little conspiratorial here, but after the summer tour, maybe Jay saw what 50's energy was like and what the fan response to him was like on the road, and he just realized it wasn't his moment anymore. So maybe he saw a way to coincide. Shit, bro, it was nobody moment at that time, bro. Man, if 50 came in the game, nobody had that moment. Nobody. Nobody. You ain't just Jay-Z, bro. Bro. Side his retirement with a time period where his music may not have related as much to the current climate. Perfect timing or coincidence. Either way, it was a smart business move. Jay was able to wait things out and continue to keep his legacy as the top guy rather than trying to compete with the new guy. This also gave him some space to develop new projects and his Rock Nation artists like Kanye West. Speaking of Ye, this video of 50 crashing the stage with Jay and Kanye will never not be funny. We got, hey, hey, hey. You can get down, this nigga. You can get down. This, it's all this good. This a Come real special moment, get, ain't come it? Come on, you can get some, nigga. Hey, they got my boy T.I., man. <laughs> this a real special moment, Let's ain't go. it? Let's go. Here's what 50 said about the incident. He said something on Tim Westwood's show. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they asked him about... Uh, 50 Cent, he said, nobody's scared of 50 Cent. Yeah, right, yeah. All right. But, you know, I, I don't think he's aware of his presentation. Mm -hmm. You know, there's an adjustment. There's something that's happening that's different about him and the way he people perceive him. Mm -hmm. You know, he's way more approachable. You know, like it's the Beyonce and the, I don't know Sinatra vibe he's trying mm -hmm. to put off. That's making him like people comfortable enough to walk on the stage. Right. Let's not let's not act like we haven't previously been places. Like I feel the room change. People uncomfortable when I'm around. Fifty at one point also called out Jay for his business decisions. That was a sucker move, man. You know what I mean? I look at what, what, what Jay was doing, but he feels like he's doing his traditional business. You know, it's just J Jimmy Iovine doesn't say Rockefeller for life. We family. Right. He says this is Interscope Records. You know what I mean? Right. So when you're not generating interest or you're not doing what he feels like is the best possible business deal, it's nothing personal. It's just business. You see what I'm saying? Like and when... When Jay decides to put beans in the space, like, they got loyalty. They got the things that we come off the curve with. Right. You can't you flip it. And some of these theories might sound kind of crazy, or they might also not be, because here's 50 talking about Jay-Z's ability to avoid beefs throughout his career. It worked, man. He always put somebody in front of him. When Jada came for him, he put Beanie in front of him. And Beanie... Came for him, he put... And they went back and forth. Didn't compete. And speaking about rock artists, here's 50 talking about Jay not wanting to lose Beanie Siegel to him. When he did the year in the day, I was like, yo, as soon as he come home, I'd bring that project over here. Mm -hmm. So I was going to give, he would have got at least, he would have got at least 800000 mm -hmm. at that point to come in. You see what I'm saying? Right. To come over. But why didn't the deal happen? Because Jay was telling them that he was, he didn't want to lose him. It, it's the same. You know what happened? You don't want to lose him, but you don't want to do nothing with him. him. Jay and Puffy had these feelings towards me at one point, I believe. 50's power in New York was also growing along with his success. Listen to Joe Budden talk about what 50 could do in the city. At bro, we not listening to Joe Budden, bro. No. <laughs> bro, Joe, I don't care about none, but I don't care about Joe Budden, man. He don't, bro. Joe Budden is like, bro, oh my God, he's going he gonna to be one of those, like, everybody finna, man, really finna stop liking him, bro. I don't care what none got, bro. At the time, allegedly also stating that Jay was the only other one that could have had that level of influence. I own New York. And speaking of Joe Budden and I Get Money, the only real New York and I own New York. And 50 even started off I Get Money by saying, I run New York and I own New York. And speaking of Joe Budden and I Get Money,
the only real collab that 50 and Jay have is when Jay jumped on 50 Cent's remix to I Get Money. But when Jay jumped on Joe Budden's Pump It Up remix, remember, he also dissed Joe. So it's not crazy to think that these last lines were actually a shot at 50 on his own song. He ended his verse saying, in case y'all forgot, New York is still mine. But either way, Jay's retirement lasted about the same amount of time that 50's initial run lasted. In 2006, Jay-Z came- Bro, I don't even remember the remix. Bro, that's crazy. I remember the song. I don't remember the remix. Came back, and by that time, Lil Wayne's run was on the horizon with no yeah! sign. Don't forget about the Weezy ad, baby. Don't forget that, bro. Come on, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I still want to see that 50 and Wayne collab, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Let him know. That's that's when, hey, that, you know what I'm saying? That's when Wayne came in the game. He came in the game and he took it over. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That to this to this moment, I still want a Wayne and Fifty collab. Hopefully, Fifty. Hopefully, hopefully that be on the Carter Six, or hopefully that be on Fifty Cent uh album. Yeah. Who came in the game? Who who pet? Hey, who uh uh who came in the game? Impact? Who like? Ah, I can't really talk, bro. Like uh, who came in the game hot? Fifty. Or Wayne. Ooh. Now, I ain't gonna lie. That's tough. 50's hot and Wayne was hot. 2006, Jay-Z came yeah. back. And by that time, Lil Wayne's run was on the horizon with no signs of slowing down. And Jay even said that when he came back with Show Me What You Got and Wayne did a freestyle over it, he had to look in the mirror and think about if he still had what it takes to be at the top of the game. And of course, host protege Kanye West was about to be the main guy in hip hop as he was set to drop graduation. 50 and Kanye went head to head, and shortly after that, 50's run ended music. No, I ain't gonna cap, bro. If 50, 50, if 50 and Wayne had a song together, bro, like 50 was hot and Wayne is hot, they, they would have blow the industry down, bro. Real talk. Bro. 50 and Kanye went head to head, and shortly after that, 50's run ended musically in favor of a new era of music and new content. 50 said that he would retire if Kanye won the battle, which we all know wasn't a real battle or beef and was probably just a publicity stunt, but a very well orchestrated one. And let's remember, Jay-Z was the head of Def Jam at the time, so he had a clear interest in helping Kanye win the battle. But maybe 50 got his revenge and pulled from Jay's playbook when he saw an out from the game. Maybe he realized he could bow out when the tides were changing content-wise and he could focus more on the business side of things while still remaining a legendary artist. Like 50 Cent said after the battle with Ye, Kanye West gets the trophy, 50 Cent gets the check. 50 recently spoke on his preference on being more of a on the business side rap. Bro, we know for a fact, bro, we know for a fact, bro. <laughs> Let's be real. Bro. If 50 would have tried, bro, 50 would have killed Kanye easily. Alright? If if I was 50, oh, Jay-Z got Kanye? Let me go get Wayne. Let me go get Wayne. Let me hit up Birdman and see if I get a song on Wayne. Bro, it, yeah, bro, and let me run it up. Oh, 50, bro. I know for a fact 50 got a, hey, man. 50, yeah, hey, man, if, 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 if Jay-Z was on Kanye, bro, I would have got Wayne. And we all know Wayne and, and, and Kanye was, was beefing, bro. And guess who won that battle? Weezy. Carter, three, man, hey, 50, 50, I would have got Wayne, bro. If Jay-Z got Kanye, I would have got Wayne, bro. That's how we going to do it. If Kanye was popping at that time. I'm gonna get somebody who else was popping right next to uh Kanye. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Wayne. Boy, imagine 50 and Wayne on the same track, y'all. Everybody was scared of Wayne when he came in the game. Compared to 50. Rather than being the face of a brand and suggesting that things might have been different if Tony Yayo, his G Unit artist, ended up being bigger than him. The beauty of how Geo did work is my solo album. So, so Banks is not, bro, what? 
So Tony better than Banks? No. We took off so big mm -hmm. that I just brought them with me. So it was clear that it was me creating the opportunity for, for everybody else now, in the crew. Right. But we was all together. I, no, I, I wish it would have been Yayo. Why? Because then I could have did all of the business. Does that, when you say do all of the business and... If he would have been 50 Cent, baby, right. then I would have been running the whole thing. You see what I'm saying? Is, do you think that is better for you? Or well, he basically is saying the same thing that Jay-Z just did. Are you, is it different for you? I'm going to show you how to write song lyrics super fast. I'm going to be using... Man, hey, 50, bro. I would have, man, I would have got on the song with Lil Wayne, bro. Bro, Lil Wayne got the clout, man. If I was 50, I'm like, you know what, bro? I... Uh, then we, then it would still be two of us. It would still be... Gotcha. He'd still be 50 Cent as the artist and, and out there. And I'd be probably the largest asset to us. 50 Cent has mentioned the theory that Jay's association with Beyonce actually made him much bigger musically and even references that his first number one song didn't come until the Blueprint 3. And while 50 Cent took a step back musically, he did continue to become a mogul in the TV and business spaces in ways that not many artists have ever done. But 50 Cent and he is often over the next 10 years, Jay-Z released much more music than 50 Cent and he is often considered the and see, that's all, man, Jay-Z, you think you slick, dog. You retired just because you scared 50. Ain't no mother, bro. That's why this man Jay-Z number one. That's why Jay-Z number one. That's why. He was right behind Kanye. To take him out so he can be number one again. Man, I ain't gonna lie, Jay Z. I, you made me don't even like you no more, dog. Oh, man, bruh. Ain't no way, bro. I know Jay Z the GOAT, but I, I was wondering why Jay Z, all, bro, y'all got Jay Z God at rapping, man. wait for 50 go to the movies in, in, in the TV series for him to talk that will hold it and gone, bro. That's why. So 50, so 50 did power. Remember, he did his, his TV show power was like what, 13 to 14? Ho been dropping a lot of albums in, until that day. Man, I ain't gonna cap Jay-Z. You made me don't even like you no more, my dog. No, bro. No way. So this man say he retired and came back in the industry after 50 Cent retired, like completely. And then you waiting on 50 to go to the TV shows and movies for you to start rapping again. Man, ain't no way, bro. Next 10 years, Jay Z released much more music than 50 Cent, and he is often considered the GOAT when it comes to the bars. But in terms of their peak runs, which artist do you think had a bigger impact? We know. Their subtle tension has continued throughout the years. When Jay Z dropped 444 in 2017, 50 Cent had this to say I listened to Jay shit that, that 444. I thought the shit was all right. You know what I'm saying? I like the shit. But I'm going to keep it 100. The shit was a little. The shit was too smart, right? I felt like I was supposed to be wearing like glasses and shit and like, like tie like a fucking sweater around my waist. It was like Ivy League shit. Now I'm gonna tell you the truth. Niggas is high out here, so they don't wanna hear that shit. They just wanna have a good time. You know what I'm saying? And fuck that, you can't be the- That's why 50 on the album mode now. Hey, Jay-Z. If 50, remember, if y'all pay attention, y'all, Jay-Z was on the song with God did, and, and Jay-Z had like a five-minute verse. You, you, you think 50 not in the studio saying what he did? Oh, man. That's all I got something to say, man. Wait for 50 to drop that album, man. 
If 50, if 50 out selling your, your, your last couple albums, oh man. Best rap at 47. And so they don't want to hear that shit. They just want to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? And fuck that. You can't be the best rapper at 47 because the new niggas is here. They coming with new shit going on. That's why I was laughing when the, with the Joe Buttons nigga, mm -hmm. with the, the Amigos mm -hmm. niggas, because they up. They up next. You got to let the young niggas come in. Niggas fucking with Future and all this stuff. Just leave them niggas alone, B. What the fuck is the matter with you, man? I ain't going to hold you up, son. That shit was like go. So that low key is similar to God did. Like, of course, music. Although, I don't know if I'm listening to Jay-Z on the golf course, so I don't exactly know what he means, but clearly there's tension. Then more recently, 50 Cent accused Jay-Z of potentially trying to block him performing on the iconic Super Bowl stage, and if it wasn't for Eminem insisting that he wouldn't do it without his brother, then 50 might not have been included. You think you were purposely left out of the ad? No, no. I, oh, okay. I don't think... I think that they... They, they were saying the NFL has some issues with me mm. that... um. I don't know what those issues are. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, what is the issue? You see what I'm saying? Like, and I, um, with, with him, because like with Nori, Nori was, he had uh, communication. He said, yeah, that's what I talked to the big homie. He was saying, so Jay, he was telling me, you know, the white boy wouldn't do the truth without, without 50. Mm -hmm. Right? And I'm like, that's when I start saying crazy stuff, because I look and I go, oh, uh, that's your big homie. Right? And so, so he, he the image itself after a gay painter. The okay. big homie wanted to look like a, a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. Oh my God, I think I know where we're going with so this. So now look, what I'm saying to you is, look, when you start looking at, it's, it, that's not mine, that's theirs, they're Harper, right? But when you look at, M is looking at the entire legacy. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing, like with, with M, Dre and myself, like the, I'm a shady aftermath. You see what I'm saying? Like it do so much G unit, G unit records. Right. Unit. They forget that I'm I'm in, in Dre's artist. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, but that's 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 just the way it was. Like, were I, you a part of it? Even like you say you weren't on the ad, right? Yeah. yeah. When 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 we saw the initial asset that came out, huh. and you weren't on there, but were you already a part of it? No, I already had communication oh, okay. with Paul about going to do it. But the ad was co coming out that already was shot with, okay, got gotcha. you, and everybody else in it. So I'm like, nah, cool, I'll be surprised. Fifty came to this theory based off of Nori's Drink Champs interview, with, where they spoke on the Super Bowl, and Nori implied that the big homie, in quote, Jay Z, was saying that the white boy, meaning Eminem, refused to proceed without Fifty Cent. Most recently, there's been a lot of talk about Eminem versus Jay Z and their impact, and it's very interesting to hear people's sides on this. But if you want us to do a video on those. Two Close, bro. Why are you trying to compare to M to Jay Z? We know who who you need to compare to Fifty and, and Wayne, bro. I want to see who impact was the biggest. If you want to be real, ain't nobody had the biggest impact than and Fifty than Wayne. Let's keep it a buck. Two rappers, let us know in the comments. There's also a lot more details in this story, and it could go on for honestly hours, but for now, we're gonna leave it here. There's a lot of great videos and articles about this beef. Diverse Mentality did a great job on their hour long piece. Rap Aesthetics put out a great article. We'll link both in the description, but overall, who do you think? Man, we know who got the biggest, man. 50, bro. That's we, that's, the, bro, that's the reason why Jay Z out here think he got it rap, man, cause, bro, 50? 50 was finna kill uh, Jay-Z. You know what? Thank you. Thank you, Hip Hop DX. Thank you. Because that this makes sense now, bro. This is completely makes sense. He went on Kanye. Like, hey, Kanye, you know what I'm saying? Let's, you know, let's take you up to a next level. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. Man, I would have got on Lil Wayne. I like Wayne, bro. Let's run this, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, hey, hey, Jay Z doing Kanye. That time it was literally Kanye and Wayne. This is like 50 and Jay Z, bro, man. 50, I want to got on Wayne. But like, man, come on, man. Bro, I promise you, bro. I, man, mark my words, bro. I promise you. If 50 and Wayne get on the same track, 
Man, they would outdo Jay-Z and Kanye, bro. Any day, bro. I'm out, dog.